Uh, hi guys, coach speaking, the author of Forex Broker Killer. Uh, I'm going to be talking about a few important things as to how did I really get to this point that I'm at right now. Uh, so that some of you guys, those who don't know me or where I come from, you can understand. So that those who knew me from way back, you can even have, have uh, deeper details as to what it takes to actually be successful in life, you know. Everybody says success is not easy, but they are not going into details as to where does the difficulty start, you know. So I'll be elaborating that uh, throughout this video. And if you're watching it on Instagram, just click IGTV to watch the full version. So, basically, I believe majority of you guys are quite aware of my story in terms of the money which I used for for school fees, you know, the money which I used for, for school fees. Uh, I, I actually took my school fees funds and went, in, went into Forex and then I lost it all. So, basically, I want to make you guys understand that talking to me or being close to me does not necessarily mean that you will get successful, you know. Reason being that success is more internal than any other thing, you know. It, it must come from within must come from inside so basically uh, I remember in 2017 2017 I was alone when I say I was alone I simply mean that there was no mentor no one to guide me no one to inspire me nothing I was just on my own you know and I've made two sacrifices throughout 2016 Sacrifice number one is to take my mother's money, which was a loan, and went into Forex with it. It was about 15,000 rands, and I lost it all. That's sacrifice number one. Sacrifice number two, I, I stopped going to school, you know. I stopped going to school so that I can fully focus on Forex, you know. I want you guys to understand that I was just taking chances. It was never guaranteed, or it is never guaranteed that you'll make it. There's only one way to find out, which is to try, you know. So, June, 2016 June, when the schools were closing and stuff like that, people were going home. Students were going home when I was still studying. And I decided to make another sacrifice and stay. You know, if if you are a student or you've been a student before, you know, hunger, hunger is a serious issue when it comes to varsity, you know. Especially when, when you don't come from a, a rich family. Hunger is the main problem, you know. So people, when they were going home in June for recess, uh, most of them it was because there's no food anymore, you know. So the best place to go is home. Now, I decided not to go home. And I didn't have food by then, you know. But because I, I had a dream that, you know what, I have to achieve this. I'm not going to let anybody remind me that I have to achieve this. I just have to do it. I have no choice. So, there was, I was left with one piece of chicken. One piece of chicken which I was supposed to last with it for about six days. Estimation, you know, six days. So, basically what was happening is that I've, I've sat down and I'm like, should I go home? Because if I go home, I'm going to eat very healthy. But I won't have the same ambition as, as as I have right now at that current moment, you know. I won't be able to be committed to Forex because you know how parents are when you speak about these things. They just want you to go to school. They don't care about anything else, you know. So I'm like, okay, let me stay here and hustle and see if I can learn something. So that one piece of chicken... I came up with a plan. When I was cooking the chicken, I had rice and my nice tom tomato sauce only. So when I was cooking the chicken, I would just put in my minestrone. It's minestrone soup. I just put the soup, cook the meat, cook, cook, cook. When it's fine, when I'm dishing up, I dish the soup only. Then I leave the meat. The following day, I will recook the meat again and take the soup.
the aim was just to have the smell of meat so that I can satisfy myself, you know. Keep in mind, had I went home in June, I would have eaten very healthy, but I just decided not to because I feel like I need to do this, you understand? There's nobody who's going to take me out of the mess that I'm in at this moment, you know. Uh, my mom think that I've paid school fees, of which I didn't, you know, it's just too bad. So, fine. Uh, the week went by, I was hustling, learning, making profit, losing, making profit, losing. But the difference between then and when I started was that I was actually learning from every trading activity. I was actually learning. So when people came back from research, uh, they found me there and they were surprised. Bruh, you are weird. Why would you stay here when there's no one, there's no food? Uh, where else you have a family? You know, I just told them that you guys don't understand. You won't understand uh, what is it that I'm trying to achieve or what is it that I'm going through. You understand? So, fine. Time went by. Uh, at that moment, um, I was in a relationship. Né? I was in a relationship with a person whom I thought is my true love. You know, you know that moment when you actually think that you cannot live without this certain individual where else the funny part about it is that when you came to earth you came to earth alone you know but all of a sudden you you you, you start thinking that you can't live with another without another person uh, that's nonsense actually so i've i felt that way it's love you know i felt that way but here was the challenge the in the relationship i was always being mocked in a sense that I don't want to go to school. I don't want to look for a job. I'm always on the laptop doing this forex trading things which don't even work, you know. Meaning that the person I was in the relationship with was not supportive towards my dreams. But because I loved them, uh, the relationship just went on. But now, as I was hustling, pushing, 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 there came a point whereby... The lady was just tired of me, you know, was tired of me that I'm, I'm useless. I don't know how to go to school. I don't have any future. You know, nothing is working out. So she decided to leave me. When she left me for, for more than two weeks, actually, I was not even eating. Uh, I was just eating there and there. I was not necessarily eating anymore because of depression. I was so depressed. You know, that moment whereby you think you can't live with, without this certain individual. But here's the funny part about God. God has his things planned thoroughly, you know. When the relationship was over, things started picking up, you know. I started seeing light. I started seeing hope. I started being more committed towards this graph, you know. Then before I knew it, in December, I was, I was, I was there, you know. I was there on top. You know, uh, I've made it now. It's 2016 December, I've made it. Here's the tricky part about me. When I made my first profit, I didn't change my lifestyle, you know, as many would, would do at this present stage, you know. Uh, I've never went to any Gucci shop. I've never went to any LV shop or any expensive shop or even buy a suit or buy Apple uh, products so that I can be seen that I have money, you know, or I can be seen that I've made it in trading. I didn't do all those things. I was still the same guy, which people knew. But I was actually sitting on, I would say, the, 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 the most important information ever. 2017, that's when I officially uh, quit uh, Varsity. I'm like, you know what, either way, uh, I didn't pass, so they are going to chase me as well. So I might as well quit at the same time. So that was the case. Now, the rest is history as as from 2017, 2017 till present. Now, what I'm trying to make you understand is this. When it comes to success, you cannot cheat success. When it comes to success, you cannot have a balance. You cannot do two things at the same time. When it comes to success, there's only one plan A. There's only one plan, which is plan A. If plan A doesn't work, plan A has to work. I don't know if you get what I mean. What I'm trying to say is that you should have one plan, only one plan when it comes to success. Because trying to rob success won't work. 
I'm going to be making a practical example. I have people who have been uh, learning my strategies, uh, trading with my strategies for over six months now. And they've actually never withdrawn any cent. They've never made any profit. Not even once. Over six months. And I have people who use my strategy for two weeks or a month. Then they make profit. But still, the information is the same. The biggest question is how come because the information is the same how come others are struggling others are achieving here's how it goes remember with me for me to get to where i am today was because of what we call commitment you know i had one plan only which is to make it regardless of what people say i just have to make it meaning that between 9 and 5 p.m of during during the day I would be on on forex related stuff it's either I watch bloomberg news on youtube i watch videos on youtube i just browse around you know looking for more information doing research about brokers opening demo accounts practicing making notes you know i had this book whereby i was making notes that's how the one minute strategy started by the way it started based on experience which i was going through at that moment so that should tell you something about what i was doing back in the days 90% of my time, I spent it based on Forex related stuff. That's why even today, 90% of my success comes from, from Forex. I don't know if I'm making sense. Now, let's talk about you. You are studying 9 to 5. You're working 9 to 5. There's no time for you to do any research about the broker. There's no time for you to do anything related to Forex at that moment. You know, like there's nothing at all. Now, that simply means that you have invested 90% of your time in other things and only 10% in Forex. Yet still, you expect miracles. That's the challenge which we are having in the society. People are not committed to the graph, but they want the graph to give them financial freedom. How when you don't trust the graph? How when you haven't sacrificed anything? When they say nothing comes easy, that's what they mean. They mean, simply mean that you must do a sacrifice. You must sacrifice something. Something very important for what you wish to achieve in life, you know? So many of you guys, during the day, you are busy with school. You are busy working. And then when people like us come with results, it's more like we are doing something which we never taught you. Of which it's not the case. The only difference between us who are making money out of Forex and you who is trying to make money out of Forex is that we are not committed in the same manner. You are focused on other things and we are fully focused on Forex. You understand? I'm not saying that you cannot balance the two. You can balance the two, but at some point you must make a sacrifice. If you really want Forex to take you from where you are to the next level, you must give your, your soul, if it has to be, your, 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 your body, your everything, your commitment, everything into that graph. Trust me, the graph, it's going to be very difficult at first, but you're going to thank me at the later stage. Because had I given up uh, that moment I lost money or that moment throughout the, throughout the process of learning, had I, had I, uh, had I lost hope, you know, in trading, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be having newspapers writing nonsense about me. I wouldn't hear people gossiping about me. I wouldn't hear people arguing what I have and what I don't have. You know, I wouldn't be here, you know. Now, I hope you, you, you get the idea when it comes to to commitment as to how Forex really works. If you want to achieve in Forex, give Forex your time. At some point, you might have to make a sacrifice in order to make it. You should stop blame, blaming other people because if I'm your mentor, if I'm your mentor right now, I'm going to give you a task. Remember, I'm not here to make anybody rich. Nobody made me rich. I'm, I'm giving you a task that do this, do that, do that. When now you don't have time to do those tasks. And when time for results come, the only thing you have is it's anger within you. Anger that you're not achieving. Achieving how when you're not committed? The graph has feelings in a way. You need It needs to feel that you're committed. Or else you will forever keep on donating, trust me. Always. So, that's just about it uh, when it comes to, 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 to my history and, and where I come from. Now, let's talk about lifestyle, you know. 
let's talk about lifestyle let's talk about lifestyle let's talk about uh, looks you know uh, basically i'm that one person whom whom money would never change you know if how many of you guys this december how many of you guys can just sit on hundred thousand in the bank account and not leaving the part how many of you guys I doubt, I doubt you can be able to hide that. But I was able to hide that information. I was able to live a normal life. So when it comes to lifestyle, I've, I've never, money never really changed my personality. That's why even today, even today as we speak, people are arguing about me whether I really have this or not. It's because I'm always wearing things like this. You see, these are my daily shoes. These are my daily shoes. Every day, I'm always wearing things like this. Normal t-shirts like this, you know? It's because when it comes to wealth, it's never about looks, you know? What the problem which we have with upcoming uh, people who are interested in Forex is that you are under pressure. You are under pressure to prove to people that indeed Forex is working. What do I mean by that? If you make your first 10,000, you'd want to go buy an iPhone so that they can see now that you are trading, you are making money. But here's the tricky part. You make 10,000 in Forex, you take the 10,000, you buy an iPhone to impress people who don't even have money. Honestly speaking, does it make sense? We live in a society whereby we, 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 we want to impress people who are not worth it, you know? That's why even at, at this point, even today, I can go to the mall without bathing. I can do anything that I, I can wear, whatever nonsense I want to wear. You can undermine me when you see me, but if you know, you know, you know? So... The challenge which we have in this society as blacks is that people are living to impress broke people. You know, people are living to impress broke people. You will never get anything. If Petrus Mutsepe wants you to show him that you have money, then you can do it. Because he has money, but trust me, he would never ask you to do that. He would never. It's only these broke ones who want us to prove to them. And it's nonsense. So, I hope you, you are able to get the drift uh, about commitment, you know. The graph wants you to be committed to the graph. We are approaching 2020, and uh, not in, in, in about a month or so. We are going to be approaching 2020. Every year, every year, you have been praying. Every year you have been praying, every year you have been making, uh, what you call this, uh, New Year resolutions or whatever they call them. Every year, same things. At the end of the year, you haven't achieved anything. Next year, you are back at your knees praying again. Now, what does the Bible say? God uh, can bless anybody who's, who's, who's a hustler, you know. I, I just forgot the exact letter, but it's something similar to that. You can't just kneel down and pray and then after do the same thing again, over and over and over again. You do the same mistake over and over and over and over again, you know. The reason why we have so many poor black people in our black society is that so many people take advices about money from people who don't even have money. Now, right now, I'm, I'm sitting in a G63, ne? Uh, this is a G63. There is someone out there right now at Samkasi who is driving a polo and they are talking nonsense about me. Someone, somewhere, right now as we speak, they are driving a polo, they are talking nonsense about me. There is someone, somewhere out there who is writing on social media nonsense about me, you know? And what do you think is going to happen when you take that person's advice? Do you think you can ever achieve? No, obviously no. Why? Because when it comes to money, when it comes to money, never listen to a person who doesn't have money. The system has uh, failed us, guys. The system has failed us. I'm going to be making an example with my father. My father worked at, at the mine for, over, for almost 20 years. Then he got retrenched. 
when he got the trench, he started having eyesight problems. And whatever money they gave him, it ended up uh, taking care of his health. He has spent tw more than 20 years working, making money for this certain mine. Then when he, when he gets retrenched, he gets his funds, he can only use those funds to finish building the house if there's any, or, or take care of his health. Till when, till when, black child, are we going to live like this? Till when are you going to realize that the system is no longer working? Working for, 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 for someone else, it's nonsense. Especially nowadays. How many graduates do you know that are sitting at home? You're always blaming the government for everything. You're always blaming the government. Trust me, show me any person who is successful and, and complains about the government. No one. It's only poor people who complain about the government because they feel like the government have to take them out of poverty. The government will never do that for you, trust me. If you want to leave poverty, you must work hard. You must hustle, Baba. You must hustle. Now, the sad part about life on its own, the sad part about life on its own is that as, as black children, we are having a challenge Sorry, when it comes to our parents, you know? Our parents are not supportive when it comes to, to our dreams, you know? Sometimes our parents are the reason why we never achieve what we are supposed to achieve in life, you know? Uh, reason being that I think they've been brainwashed. They've been bra brainwashed that this is the road. Never go off the road. You need to follow this. And you need to teach your children the same road. And that is, that is the system on its own, you know? Now, what you need to understand is, is this. The main problem which we have with our parents at this at the present stage is that our parents want us to become what they failed to become. I'm sure some of you guys can relate. How many times have your parents told you? To, yeah, uh, how many times have your parents told you to become a doctor or a lawyer or a nurse? And uh, originally, genuinely, when you don't like any of those things. But it's because they wished to become those people. But because of circumstances in life, they couldn't. Now they are trying to reach their dreams through you. Is that fair? Regardless of whether a person is your parent or not, I believe that each and every person has their own talent. Each and every person has their own talent out there. you know, And it's impossible for us as blacks to have different talents yet still they want us to follow one system all of us that's why we have so many unemployed university graduates that's why we have so much high rate of poverty when it comes to black society i'm gonna tell you about white people when a white son tells his father that dad i wanna play tennis i wanna become a tennis player or whatever the case it may be instead of the white parent arguing with them they would support their child. They would take them to the best tennis uh, academy or whatever. Just so the child could achieve their dreams. They try that in a black family. You will spend two weeks without eating. They try that in, your, in a black family. So what I'm saying is that sometimes you just have to say, you know what, ne? this is me. This is my life, you know. And looking at my family, I don't want to be like any of these guys. Don't go far. Just look at your family. If you didn't, if your family was not your family at the current stage, would you wish to become one of them? I doubt the answer is yes. Don't go far. Just look at your family. Are you happy? Are you happy uh, with, with, with how they, are, they have achieved in life? Is that what you want for yourself? Honestly speaking, it has always been in your, your mind. It has always been in your hands. You are in control of your life. And the sad part about success is that before you taste it, you must make a sacrifice. So many people love living a comfortable life, you know. That's why when, when, when some of us achieve what we achieve, we always uh, get questioned. 
Main reason being that they've been programmed. They've been programmed by the system. They've been programmed by the system that it's impossible to do this. You just have to do that. You know? Let's take solve for x for example. What, what have you learned about solving for x in life right now? If you're an adult, if you're, you're still learning about it, it's not a problem. You'll find out at a later stage. But if you're an adult, what have you learned about solve for x? Is solve for x working for you right now in life? Instead, the system teaches you to follow a certain protocol. I'm that type. You need, you need to be different, man. I'm that type whom when they put a question paper and they say, uh, solve for X or find X, I'll look for X on the question paper and circle it. And then I'll write that I found the X here. But it's wrong. That's how I see things, but it's wrong. They want you to follow a certain formula. They want you to follow a certain procedure. They are programming you. They are programming you. And the sad part about it is that the people who started the system are not blacks. However, they initiate it on blacks. Let's look at varsities. You will see it, your TUTs in January. The lines will be looking like anaconda. White people you can count. But go to big companies, big offices, the CEOs, the COOs, directors, shareholders. It's always white people. Where did they learn? Where did they study? It's because immediately after the trick, white people focus on what they love. They don't follow the system which they created for us. You know? Another main problem which we have, it's, 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 it's black on black hate. Leaving other races out for now. Black on black hate, it's real. I'm telling you right now, if, 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 if your neighbor had to be chased from work, somewhere, somehow, someone in your family is going to celebrate. It's going to celebrate that another person has been chased from work. Now they can't put food on the table. If you buy a car and you get a car accident, another person is going to be happy that, yeah, it serves them right. Who do you think uh, you are to even buy a car before us? You know? And trust me, God will never bless you for as long as you still have that black, cold heart of yours. Witchcraft is not only using muti. Witchcraft is wishing bad on another person. That's witchcraft. If, 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 if they have to say tomorrow that coach uh, is very poor, he's staying in a shack. There is no one car, there is no, if not, not even one house. He's, he's, a, he's, he's, he's a beggar somewhere. He's poor. How many of you guys are going to celebrate? So many. So many black people are going to celebrate. They're, wait, they're waiting for that downfall. They're waiting for that day. But the because, biggest question is, what have I done to these people? These people who talk about me every day, do they, do they even know that I had to eat one piece of chicken for six days alone? Do they even know that I've lost 15,000 which supposed to pay, which I was supposed to pay for my school fees? Do they, do, do, they, do they even know half of the things that I've been through for me to get to where I am today? But nonetheless, the God that I'm praying does not wear a trouser. If you want to achieve black child, reduce black on black hate. Because you are blocking your own ways. The reason why I'm, say, I'm saying this is that there are people who talk about me like they know me. You know, there are people who talk about me like they know me, like they've talked to me, they've spent time with me. You know, I don't understand why is it so hard to, to just admit that fuck, this guy has made it. Let me rather get inspired instead of being jealous. Foreign exchange has about 6 trillion US dollars. 6 trillion. The money is enough for everyone. There's no need to be selfish about it. You can also try something. And success doesn't only come uh, out of Forex. There are so many things which you can be successful based on. 
if you want to be a modeler, if you want to be a photographer, you can achieve and be one of the best. If you want to be in the fashion industry, you can achieve and be one of the best. Just unlock that black, cold heart of yours, black child. Stop celebrating when another black person is down. Stop celebrating when another person, black person is down. Because trust me, God is not stupid. Some people can pray, hey? I'm one of them. I'm one of them. When I pray, I always tell God that deal with them, God. You will ask yourself, why are things not working out for you in life? Why? 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 You are trying everything, but nothing seems to be working out for you. It's because of this. Your tongue. Your tongue can block so many things. So many things. Talking about things which you don't know. Talking about things which you don't understand. Your own tongue can block your own success, black child. Otherwise, 2025, you'll still be kneeling down, praying God to achieve. Every year you'll be saying, this is my year. When will that nonsense end? When will it end? Every year it's your year when. Every year it's your year. But every year you are repeating the same mistake. Every year you still have that cold heart of yours. Every year you still help you when another black child is down in life. How do you expect to achieve? How do you expect God to, 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 to bless you in life? When you think of me, do you really think that I would just do this on my own when you think of it? Sometimes when I look at where, where, where I am in life, I just feel like this is just a dream. Maybe one day I'll wake up and go back to the shack that I grew up in. But every day when I wake up, that's when I adjust that fact. This is my life. This is real. And there's only one explanation to that, and that is God. So, basically, you who, who is hating on me or swearing at me because of what I've achieved, and I've achieved what I've achieved through God, do you think the God that I'll pray will let you achieve in life? Trust me, you will not. Not the one that I pray. But as soon as you open your heart, start appreciating that, you know what, let me rather get inspired. You know what, let me stop promoting other, other, other businesses which I don't even benefit from. For me, for me to go to Gucci and buy and spend 80000 I would rather take that money and go buy Batu, which is a local brand. I would rather do that. I'm, I'm always wearing local brands. Always, always wearing local brands. It's because I'm trying to grow small businesses within the black society, the black community. As soon as you get the taste of money, you are running to Centen. You are buying labels which are owned by people who are overseas. You are making other countries rich. Then after you will come back and blame the government. You are not supporting any black business. After you will come back and blame the government. So I hope you, you actually got the message. I hope you really, really got the message. Otherwise, next year, 2020, around November or December, I will do a similar video reminding you that remember in, in 2020, January, you were kneeling down on the 1st of January saying, God bless me. God bless me. God open my ways. But still, you are not doing anything about it. You are still doing the same things which you have been doing. You are still hanging around the same friends which you have been hanging around with. Sometimes your success can be blocked by your own friend. Anybody who used to tell me that Forex doesn't exist, Forex is a scam, what, what, when I was still hustling in varsity, I used to cut them off completely. Now that I'm here, now that I'm here, they are even struggling to get my personal number because I've cut them completely. They never believed in this. So there's no way they can benefit out of this. So I hope you, you learned something, black child. Remember, at some point, you, you might just have to make a sacrifice. At some point. At some point, you might have to be more committed than what what than than how you are at the present moment 
because you cannot cheat success. You cannot make a, 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 a success your plan B. Your success has to be plan A. You must fail, fail, fail over and over and over and over so that when you make it, you have a story to tell. Other kids are lucky when they are born, their parents already have money. Do your parents have money? Now, let's talk about the churches. Look at how full this uh, Christians' churches are. Especially these ones which are run by Nigerian pastors and stuff like that. Look at how full they get. Why? Because black people are looking for miracles. That's nonsense. There's no miracle. You must work hard for your shit in life. That's why every church is filled with so many black people. So many black people. So many. And these Nigerian pastors have seen a gap that South Africans love miracles. That's why they are here. They will knock you left, right, center, making you believe in something which you never did in, believing in. Trust me. So nonetheless, uh, I hope that uh, in 2020, some of you guys who are watching this video will, will get to achieve something. Uh, basically, I, I've reached a stage in my life whereby it's pointless it's pointless to prove what I can do. It's pointless to prove what I have. If you believe, you believe. If you don't believe, you don't believe. But fact remains, you will never take anything away from me. Anything that I've worked hard from, you will never, nobody can ever take that away from me. Except for God, the one who gave me. So nonetheless, uh, I hope, I hope you, you learn something. I hope you learn something. And in 2020, you should be able to achieve something in life at least, you know. You should be able to achieve something in life. So from your boy coach, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see you very, very soon. Let me go and buy food uh, because I am quite hungry. Yo. Nonetheless, all the best with your, 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 your lifetime goals or dreams. Ta-ta! And I'm